सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक विद इन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फोज गीक चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ यू कैन अपडेट रिलेटेड रिकॉर्ड यूजिंग सेल्स फॉर्स फ्लो सो आई वॉच अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब बट द थिंग इज दे आई डिडेंट टीच द कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज काइंड ऑफ अपडेटेड राइट और इज अ एडवांस्ड वर्जन ऑफ अपडेटिंग रिलेटेड रिकॉर्ड सो आई गो थ्रू अ वीडियो हु इज हैविंग सिक्सटीन के व्यूज बट दैट इज ओल्डर अप्रोच राइट नाउ वी कैन डू ऑल दोज स्टेप्स इन टू अ सिंगल अपडेट रिकॉर्ड एलिमेंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू लेट यू नो अबाउट दैट सो जस्ट बी विद द वीडियो एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so first of all i am going to create a new flow and i am also going to let you know the scenario i have so the scenario is something like that uh, i have a custom field on account which is called active right and it's a pick list which says active uh, as yes or no right so my scenario is whenever i am going to make the pick list from yes to no right all the opportunities that are in open state right what i mean by open state that are not closed one or closed lost updated to particular uh, yeah all the related opportunities to that particular account uh, either in uh, which are not in the st uh, stage of closed lost or closed one should move to the closed lost uh, stage right so this is the scenario which i am going to do in today's video so there are two approaches which i am going to let you know so without any delay let's get started so first of all we are going to create a record triggered flow because whenever the field of account is going to change we are going to update the related opportunities of that account right so we are going to select record triggered flow over there and click create now as you know that whenever a, up, a update happens on account we need to update related records so in object we are going to select account when a record is updated and in the condition requirement i am going to provide active equals no right and i am going to select the second option when to run the flow for updated record this means i already created a video where i explained both the meanings so i will put out in the uh, i button or in the uh, description as well you can check it out so simply let me just uh, recall that concept so it is saying if this field only going to change on that record then only we are going to relate the related opportunities or we are going to update the related opportunities so if there is any other update happening on that account and this field doesn't get changed so nothing will happen this is the simple meaning of this uh, condition which is only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement and condition what we have active equals no if you don't want to use this uh, second condition you can also uh, add one more condition here and type here active is changed boolean true so these two condition will act as a uh, second condition which is only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement also you can see the not which is automatically populated when you select is changed in the condition requirement we say uh, because you selected the is changed operator in a condition you can't change when to run the flow for updated record to select an option for when to run the flow remove all is change operator because these two conditions have same meaning that we have uh, with this when we select the second option so yeah now optimize the flow for so as you know that we are going to update the related records so obviously we are going to use the second option which is action and related records let's click done the initial setup of our flow is done now first of all i am going to do with the old approach and then i am going to let you know the new approach that we use in our scenarios so now first of all i am going to fetch all the related opportunities so that i am going to use the get record element over there so let's use all related ops and in the object i am going to select opportunity because i am going to fetch all the related opportunities to a particular account here i am going to type account id to fetch the specific related ids uh, related opportunity ids right equals record global variable dot id 
so i already told you many time if you go through my videos that record global variable store the current record which is in the trigger or which is in the flow now here you can see only the first record so no we are going to store all the records and simply we are going to click on done okay i forgot to add two more condition as in the beginning of this video i told you that we only want to update those opportunities which are in the open state that means uh, stage of the opportunities doesn't equals to close one or close lost so here i am also going to type stage name no, does do does not equal closed one and i'm going to add one more condition which says stage name does not equal closed lost right and let me just click on done now what i'm going to do is as we have all the related opportunities in our get record element we are going to check whether we have some record or not so here i am going to apply a decision element where i am saying check for null because this might happen that we don't have any uh, record over there right in the get record element So I'm going to create an outcome which says not null and here I'm going to type our, our all related ops is null boolean false. That means our get record element contains some record. I'm going to click on done. Now you will see our flow is bifurcated into two parts. Now what I'm going to do as you know that let's say suppose we have three accounts. So we need to update all those three accounts right. So what I'm going to do I'm going to use our loop element over there and let's say op and collection variable i'm going to provide my all related ops now in the loop element what i'm going to do so now you will see okay shubham that now we are under uh, for loop now simply use a update record element inside this loop right but salesforce doesn't recommend this approach because we have several problems if you are going to use a dml element or let's say get record elements or i can say data elements inside a loop right so this will create some limit issues which i am going to create a separate video so after this video maybe you will get a video which uh, talks about uh, limits in salesforce flow right so for now just uh, understand that this is not the best approach or this is not the best practice to put any data element inside your loop element so what i'm going to do here is a approach to avoid that uh, stuff so simply first of all you need to change the stage of all the opportunities right so i'm going to say stage change to close lost and now you will see i'm going to use opp that means current item from the loop now opp dot stage name equals closed lost now you will see i am going to change the current opportunity to closed lost and simply click done over there so now you will see when let's say i have three opportunities in my uh, get record element now loop will act on the first first it will change the stage to close lost and now we need to store that opportunity inside a collection variable so that we can update it later on outside the loop so for that we also need one more assignment element and let's say opp collection and in the variable i am going to type variable and in api name i am going to type let's say op collector data type as record and make sure you select this uh, checkbox which is allow multiple values now simply click on done, uh, provide your objects which is opportunity because we are going to store opportunity record in our collection variable so that's why i am doing this and simply click done now as you can see opp collector is over there now we need to add that previous record inside this opp collector so simply click add and inside value you need to simply type the 
current item from the loop now you will see a dot just remove this dot that means you are adding that current opportunity inside the opp collector right now simply click done now let me explain what what we are doing here so let's say inside the get record element we get three records right now this uh, decision element will check that uh, we have some records or not right if we have some record then it will uh, come into a uh, loop element and inside loop it will let's say we have three records right so first it will act on the first opportunity change the stage to closed lost and then it will st get stored in the collection variable now it will do the same process for the second opportunity and same for the third opportunity now our collection coll uh, opportunity collector or which is a collection variable have three records right so uh, right now we just change the stage we didn't update to the database or our salesforce org right so when we move out of the uh, loop element here you can see after last here we need to use our update record element and inside update record element as you know that we have a record collection variable so i'm going to use the second condition over there and let's say update opportunities now i'm going to select the second condition and in the record or record collection variable i am simply going to provide the uh, opportunity collector because opportunity collector uh, holds the uh, new opportunity instance that is uh, stage name equals closed lost now i'm going to simply click on done and my flow is completed so here you can see this is the earlier approach this works fine let me just click on save and let's try to uh, save this record update opportunities and now let's simply activate it if i move to any account that holds some opportunity which are in the uh, open state right so let's say dickinson picklist or plc sorry now here you can see uh, we have a single uh, opportunity which is in closed one stage so let's uh, take some account which has more than uh, two or three opportunities so let's say university of arizona let's try yeah so here you can see we have opportunity three opportunities in the in this account and here you can see we have one opportunity with a closed one sorry two opportunities with closed one state so what i'm going to do i'm going to change uh, one of the opportunity to something else so that we can also see that it will work on the multiple opportunities right so what i'm going to do here simply change the stage to something else so now you will see we have two opportunities in the open state which means they, they are, these are not in closed one or closed lost so if i move to the detail of the account right and here you will see that active is right now yes so if i change it to no and save this record and move to the related one here you can see all the opportunities that are in open stage now change to closed lost so our flow is working fine right but this is a very old approach or that approach which not be used if you just want to update the related records now what if i say that i can do the same thing with just a single record element or update record element so you will be shocked okay that would be great that we don't need to use get record element we don't need to use loop element right and we don't need to even use two assignment element over there so that would be great right so yes you can do all the stuff with a single update record element and in this video we are going to see that and that's the part which most of the uh, content creator on salesforce doesn't uh, uh, concluded in their videos right they just simply do this uh, old approach and that's it so now what we are going to do is i am going to delete all the elements which i used in my flow right so now you will see that i am also going to uh, delete the decision element 
okay so i'm going to copy this and paste here and in the also i'm going to delete the get record element now you will see we have only the update record element and now i am going to make the changes inside my update record element so first of all we have a third option which is a special option uh, if you just want to relate the up, up, uh, if you just want to update the related records right so select this third option now you will uh, asked by the type of object you are going to update so i am going to update the opportunities right so select opportunity over there and in the filter opportunity records what i am going to do i am going to use account id equals record global variable dot id the same filter condition that we applied over uh, get record element and in the condition stage name does not equals closed one and stage name does not equal close lost so with the help of these three condition we only get the open opportunities now set field value for the opportunity record so what value we are going to update for the uh, records that you simply filter it out so that means stage name equals closed lost and that's it you simply need to click on done and now this is the very simple flow <laughs> that we just transformed from a bigger flow right so that's how you can do that so let me just click on save as and hit save again and let's activate it so now you will see that that big flow is now transformed into this single or small flow right so now let's check out the working the whether the flow is work or not so let's move to any account let's try for united oil and gas corp yeah so here you can see we have four uh, opportunities in the closed one stage and two opportunities in the uh, open stage so let's uh, change any two opportunities into any other stage right let's say um, need analysis and i'm also going to change one more opportunity so just to let you know that it works on the multiple records right so let me just change the value proposition and hit save so now you will see four opportunities are in open stage and two opportunities are already closed now i'm going to into details and going to change the active uh, pick list to no and simply hit save and go to related and here you can see all the opportunities that are in the open stage now change to closed lost so isn't it good like uh, you don't need to create that big flow to update related records in salesforce flow right you can just do with the help of a update record element i hope you like this video if you like this video please share with your uh, friends who don't know about this uh, update record element update or it's not kind of update right it's from a very uh, long feature i already covered this video but that video is for a different topic but right now i'm just uh, creating this video for a particular update record elements or update related record elements so you can share with them thank you so much uh, if you're watching this video till now i will see you